Show you how What a plot to Eric. Oh man. This is so embarrassing. I have I want you to have the Oh my god, that that was awesome. I did not mean to give so much hand service. Just know. I want you to have a little bit of extra respect every time you see uh, a blogger or YouTuber youtuber out there with the shots of them out in public, out in the wild, recording themselves, because you have no idea how self-conscious it makes you until you actually go out and try it yourself. It's, it's not the easiest thing in the world. So, this is my stack. I got uh, this book and the dollar store and I showed it up a little bit in the other vlog. It's got techniques and it's got worksheets with lines of paper and instructions. And then this is what I'm really excited about in the back. It's got Objects that are just like really pretty for you to like emulate, copy, emulate, whatever. And just, they look so fun and pretty. Yeah. I got this at Dollarama. There are two Dollaramas that are nearby, but only one of them had it. One of them's close for me, so I checked first. And I saw it and I'm like, Cindy, you have like so many books. Do you really, do you really, really want to go? Really? But then on the day when I needed motivation to go outside and sleep, I actually went out, I put a coat over my pajamas because I was still in my pajamas at night. And they usually close at nine. And I walked out to go just with the express purpose of trying to find this book because I knew that it would give me the like, like, Okay, uh, I know I showed you guys all of this before in like the last episode, but I am showing you again uh, calligraphy marker, a double tipped calligraphy marker from also from the dollar store that I use mostly for Asian calligraphy. I'm going to regret how much I'm squinting in this video. Also, it's so warm in here. Uh, I'm pretty hot. It's as pretty as my fresh low dry hair feels. It makes me feel very pretty just to have clean hair. Even though it's silly. Um, as pretty as uh, it makes me feel. I might put it up into a bunch of videos. I'm getting all the sun and none of the cold. And it's just like I'm in a little, little hot box right here. A little um, greenhouse. That's the word. Okay, next up on the list is this pocket brush, which was a gift from my good friend Adam, who is uh, my mentor and just like an all-around awesome human being. He is a humanitarian and a philanthropist, but don't say that in front of him. He, he'll, he'll just be like, ah, no, I hate people, people are awful. And then he goes out and does like wonderful things for other human beings all the time. Um, he, he helped me out when I was like in a very desperate place, him and his wife, the two cats helped me out when I uh, needed a place to live, and I was just in a different, terrible part of my life a few years ago. Um, so, you know, gifts, people talk about different like love languages, and for me, like gift giving is kind of a big one because it shows thought, and I also didn't grow up with a lot. I, Kind of a little bit of poverty, a little bit. I don't like to use the P word too much, but it's it's a big deal for me when people give me gifts. I also grew up as a Jehovah's Witness, so we didn't get Christmas gifts or birthday gifts. We didn't do Thanksgiving or Halloween or any of that stuff. So getting a gift for me was like a much bigger deal, both for the kind of like financial, fiscal sort of reasons. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but for, from like a monetary point of 
you, it was a big deal. And then also from the point of view that I just didn't get gifts uh, on a regular basis. So it's, it's a much bigger deal for me. So when somebody gives me a gift, like every time I see it, I, I sort of remember them, especially if it was a thoughtful gift, I remember them. And whenever I see the thing, and I'm like, oh, that was nice. And I get to like relive it almost. It's, I really like pictures as like a stimulant to my memory to remember that stuff happened because I don't have sort of uh, object impermanence. I understand that's maybe a very ADD, ADHD thing to have object impermanence. But uh, I forget a lot of things that have happened in my life, especially like good things. So having pictures to remind me that they happened is really nice. So I'll take a lot of pictures and I won't post them on social media, but I'll just look at them in my own camera roll and go, oh, I can, oh yeah, that was, a, that was a great day. Or that was a great event. Or wow, I did this cool thing. And for me, like gifts kind of does the same thing. I get to relive that like nice feeling and that somebody cares about me enough to spend the money and get me something thoughtful. Okay, enough sappiness. Uh, this one is uh, Statler with this has got the wide tip nib that I have attached. I'm always like pro wide. I like thin. It's got like a thin tip and four ink cartridges. One of the ink cartridges is inside the pen. Uh, one, well, okay. One of them is inside the pen, open with the tip. Another one is closed inside the bottom as like a little storage container that they suggest doing. Um, there's two spare cartridges. The small nib. Focus. Um, it's not gonna focus. That's fine. A little plastic wallet and some basic instructions, which were actually kind of helpful and cool. And this also from the dollar store. It works all right. I feel like the ink is probably gonna run out really fast, but that's okay. I guess it's from the dollar store. It was a stocking stuffer from someone who is not in my life anymore and it's like kind of painful and shitty but whatever. Uh, I'm finally, finally opening it up and using it and not just hoarding it for its potential. Uh, and it's like another excuse to kind of like actually dive into these, uh, these hobbies instead of just collecting, collecting the supplies. I think the sun's gonna set soon but that's okay. What I was gonna say is, there's a there's a great meme that I connected with a lot, which was connected with a lot, which is collecting art supplies and using art supplies are two different hobbies. I should actually drink some of this beautiful latte. Oh, see, you got your drink from your point. If I was a professional YouTuber, this could be a business expense. Mm. I can't actually afford to buy six, seven dollar latte. It tastes so like nutty and caramelly. Um, I can't afford to do that, but I got I got just like a little bit of extra wine. So Okay, last but not least, I got this Shaper, and I bought it in like, it was kind of like a big kit, it's got like an array of colors, an array of nibs, and like three different uh, nib holders. This one sort of leaked, I think I was storing it upside down, and the cartridge is mostly empty now, but I've used it a bunch and it's pretty good. Oh, I remember what I forgot. I had a little dish that it was going to put water in. It's like uh, handmade pottery, little like, it looks like a shot glass. It's like super tiny. Maybe it's like a sake glass or something. But I was going to put water in that just because sometimes after you're writing for a while, the nib gets dry. And you need to wet it to restore the ink flow. And I've been doing it by like licking my fingers and touching it or like licking it, but actually having a little bit of water would have probably been more helpful. These are, it's like a little bit of a test that I did recently with my nibs. Uh, I didn't know what else to write, so I just wrote a song lyrics. Some of my own song lyrics that. I, I, I think 
thought I could write songs. That's something that I thought that was just impossible for me. I never could fathom how other people wrote, wrote songs, wrote music and songs, but I was inspired by a friend of mine, Sean Beasley, who's an amazing like audio technician and producer and musician in his own right. It just made me feel like it was something I could do. And then, as, as happens, I've had an incident with like, uh, some unrequited affection, let's say, um, of somebody that I, I was really into and had sort of been seeing on and off for like a year. And this, uh, this, this spurn of my affections spawned like at least three songs so it wasn't until I had something to say until I actually could write a song but I, I was not even thinking that it was possible until Sean uh, we drove to uh, Quebec to go to like a golf rave together he's a DJ and he was like DJing a set there and he's like hey I, I don't know anywhere anyone there do you want to come along and I was like Hey, sure, yeah, actually, because it was uh, it was for Canada Day, and I did not have any Canada Day planned until I did. And during our car ride over there, he explained like a lot of like technical stuff that I had no idea about, like sound engineering and like uh, EQ. It was it was so fascinating, and he also just yeah, like because he he works and produces albums with people. Which, to be a music producer, um, especially on a small scale, I was fascinated to learn that it's a lot of things. It's 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 hand holding, it's coaching, it's suggestions, ideas, collaborations. It's maybe putting them in touch with something else that'll, that'll help lift them up, even if it's not you. It's you know doing the space, doing the, the EQ and the mastering. Um, on, on the music itself afterwards, you might be marketing it afterwards as well. Um, and the final stages, and we spent over a year writing and producing and collaborating on this this artist with the on this album with a good friend of his, and I just I had no idea about that process. Anyway, he inspired me that writing songs was indeed possible, and once I get them a little bit more ironed out, I would love to share them with you, and I'd love to actually get them produced with him specifically because like his knowledge and understanding the way sound works, even like within a room, within uh, like, like the technical aspects of, you know, how mids interact in a voice versus with the guitar and how they share the same wavelength. So, you know, you can choose which one that you want to come on top depending on like what you want to elevate. Just like, there's so many things. Anyway, I digress. Uh, the sun is setting. It's advertised. I'm, I can see there's like a building over there, and it's like just slowly coming up. The nice thing is, uh, it's definitely feeling like a little bit less hot to sit in the sun, so that'll be nice. Um, I'm blind. So, shall we? I meant to read a little bit more of this book, like the reading part as opposed to the practice part before we got started, but. Uh, Possibly did not do that, yes. So, but we can just jump right into doing uh, a little bit of the old uh, practice. Let's get this a little more flat, actually. I didn't think this through that well, but. See? This one maybe or the pen brush. It, it actually suggests, especially for this swirly stuff as opposed to the gothic writing, um, to use a soft tip pen, which would be my pocket brush. But I might be able to pull it off with this one. Let's see, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. So. Oh yeah, there's the warm-up drills, which on 
honestly, I should do some warm up drills because I'm afraid. I'm afraid of screwing it up. I'm afraid of like actually, you know, like writing in a new notebook, liking in a new notebook, and it's like so beautiful and perfect. But uh, <laughs> hold on, I, I have to show you this part right here. It's, these guys know how to party right there. <laughs> it looks like they're having so much fun. <laughs> Especially like the peach one. It looks like peach hats to me anyway. Looks like it's painted with watercolor. I mentioned watercolor because I, know I, I really want to get into watercolor. I had a whole watercolor kit that I never even cracked into and I left it behind in my move because I didn't have enough space for it. I hope it went to a good, good home. I suspect that I have a lot of fun. I'm going to Okay. I suspect that it just ended up in the garbage, but it was really nice. Anyway, I wanted to show you a little bit of art. This, this big building over here is where the sun just set against. Anyway. We're here to do calligraphy. Serious, serious. With this. Oh my god, I think this is the girl. <laughs> no, it is you guys. Oh, I thought you were just driving away and we'd never see each other again. No, no, no. Oh my god. I'm doing calligraphy stuff. It's super boring. <laughs> Circles. 
sure to fill the entire height of the practice line to see where the red circle, where the loops don't quite reach, try to work. Just big loops. All right, here we go. First pen mark. Which I might have in my bag. Drawing first blood is always oh, the hard one. Now I've written enough. There's no going back. This girl seems cool. Oh my god. I almost wanted to like show their faces some more, but I don't know what. I don't know what like. I'm sure they would have been fine with it. I just like felt super awkward. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a real YouTuber that. Okay, back, back, back to work, back to work. If I knew how to edit better, I would be like to um, just like do the time lapse thing and have some like, cool music in the background. But I'm a combination of not skilled enough and too lazy to actually do that. The background is but it's also very sad. There's a cute guy, dog, you guys. And a slightly cute guy. Maybe. I'm just attracted to these. Coming into here. Oh my god. Okay. I don't want to show you this dog. Hi, how which is a sign of stress for dogs, actually. They're not actually sleepy, yawning, it tends to be um, kind of
of a stress response. You can actually see this in a lot of animals. Uh, cats, dogs, horses. Um, I'm not sure if lizards yawn as a stress response, but uh, certainly like dogs with that. Yeah, that was too salty. There are two like, little dogs which is quite quiet. Oh, damn it. Okay. Back, back to work, back to work. Well, people are checking me out on the bus too. I'm embarrassing myself and both. <laughs> Man, this is embarrassing. I thought the girls behind me were Korean this whole time, but they are actually Chinese. Something I noticed the other day when I was doing the calligraphy. Um, something I noticed when I was doing when I was just like kind of practicing the, the lyrics on the other page was uh, getting to the, the edge of the page or getting to the bottom and not having a place to rest my hands. Ability to do stuff cleanly. I'm not really sure what the solution to that is. Maybe a better writing surface instead of just on my lap, but I don't know, I don't really have a desk. I'm not quite hitting the bottom of the thing here for some reason, but I am managing to hit the top kind of consistently. Oh, 
consciousness in the night. I think you might love it. Mm. It's still warm though. <coughs> There's a girl here who's now. I'm taking a picture of all the uh, ornaments that they have hanging and for sale. eggs seem to be sort of very italicized, so my instinct is to do the more straight up and down, but muscle memory in my hands. Oh. That little squiggle at the end brought to you by the jazz. I was thinking about a solution for running out of space to do the practice warm-ups. They are two different solutions. One, I'm pretty sure, yeah, in the back, they have at least a handful of practice pages. Like, it's not, it's not an insignificant amount of pages, although I think the ones at the very, very back are blank. this many practice pages. They're kind of thick pages, but still. Or, this was only like $4, maybe $4.50, which is expensive for the dollar store, but in the grand scheme of workbooks and calligraphy, paper, and all that jazz, if I really want to, I can just get another one and then do it all over again and practice some more. seem to be a lot bigger. Almost reminds me of an owl binding, which really is just a series of loops. Going under and loops of clean, clean loops, please.
they think that they want they want the one to say they probably want to because they're empty walls. Oh, I, I kind of like half overheard that conversation in my head because you were saying you were an art collector. It's, it's funny, which ones did you like? Because I wasn't here earlier. No, I, I'm joking with them. Oh, I see. But, but I've always bought them as soon as I saw them. I, 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 I honestly, I've been side eyeing this one with the peaches and the faces when okay. I sell. And uh, this one is yeah. nice. It looks like it's two girls. They could be wrong. It's kind of somewhere between two girls and two birds. Yes. Like they have that sort of feathered. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's, it would be nice if it. I mean, if, if it was women who you know have are married and see this group. But who knows? I think she did that intentionally. Do you know the artist? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like this, and this is because I'm from a cat family. I'm glad you pointed that out though because actually there's some really cute art on the walls that I haven't even noticed over there. to the sun. That was me earlier today. I went for a walk, it, like pretty much explicitly just because it was sunny outside and then I was, where I was walking was strictly on the sides of the street that had sun and that's yeah. actually how I ended up here because it was on, on the sunny side of the street and there was like a lot of sun coming into the window. I, I saw it, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was you. <laughs> oh, you saw me walking. Because I had my sunglasses oh, on yeah. and now it's gone. Yeah, yeah it went, it, it, it set behind that building over there. But, I'm not entirely sad about the setting because once I came inside, the sun hitting the window without the coldness of outside became like a, a greenhouse and I was like baking in the sun a little bit, so now I'm a little bit more Oh, that's why there's pictures so important. Yeah, no, but you're right, especially that sort of like gray, gray. And it's a beautiful frame. Yeah, it's always one of those things that you don't I think that's the original photo too. It looks like a yeah, well, yeah, yeah. watercolor. Yeah. Oh, there's a goose. Yes. Yes. Um, oh, and she's got like messy morning hair. So it says one more cup of tea, but for me it would be coffee. Yeah, me too. Give me my cup of tea. It's so awkward. I am so awkward. Oh no, my pen! My pen just read the rolling. Underneath that nice girl's foot. Okay, hold on, I need to go on and retrieve the dishes. Is it gonna fall? Is it gonna fall? Danger, danger. So sorry, I just dropped my pen underneath. Oh, that's fine. funny watching people in the car notice that I'm up to no good. I'm getting surprisingly normalized considering I've got my phone on the selfie stick. The people that I'm talking to. I did not like how those tiny loops turned out whatsoever, but here we are. Gosh, I hope I'm not too cold. I didn't bring like a scarf or anything. I didn't plan this out. 100% compulsive. Oh, that lady I was talking to uh, came back just to let the woman with the walker in. That's nice of her. 
I'm not happy with these tight loops. But I'm gonna move on to navigating my, my coffee situation. Look one more. waves. Make sure that each wave ends on the baseline and rises to the dotted line. So, same, same, same instructions. But I'm actually focusing in and becoming meditative while I'm doing it. It's proving difficult. Although, you know, it's a fun exercise. It's different. different. I mean, like, doing it with a camera and in public is, like, a whole nother, a whole nother skill set that I did not expect. There was, um, like, a, a grandpa and a little boy with a stroller, but he was, like, riding him on the back of the stroller, holding on, and he looked like he was having a lot of fun, so I had to really Shop. I'm just like somewhere between on my phone and people watching the entire time. ornaments there that look handmade that they're selling so she, she obviously wanted some the nice the nice girl who returned my pet I don't know could you see me stealthily stealthily not so stealthily <laughs> Alternating zigzag. So high waves, low waves, high waves, low waves. That's the very paramedic driving moment. Oh my gosh. I really wish this was more flattering. But the shape of the chair does not allow for that. Um, tall, tall, short, and italic. Seems simple, but like getting the consistency is tricky. 
also, you know what, it's, somebody was describing, and it might have even been in this book, how calligraphy is more like drawing than writing, so don't brush it. And it's funny that I'm just remembering that now because something that I didn't learn for years as an artist doing just like graphic art with, uh, you know, pencil on paper, or graphite on paper, if you want to be really like uh, pretentious about it, was that you can do just like these warm-ups where you just take a page and you just do circles and circles and circles and lines and lines and lines. And that just helps like physically the, the muscles in your hand and your brain kind of get warmed up and into the in, into the mode of uh, you know, getting ready to write. Okay, I, I have to show you something really dumb really quick. The back of that bus looks like a face. 100% with like side eyes. I love it. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Um, as I was saying, drawing and, and warm ups. It's, uh, it makes a lot of sense. One, it gets, for drawing anyway, it just like straight up gets your like pen, pen to paper, first of all, because sort of like like I said earlier, just like breaking, breaking the ice, like doing that first initial moment where you touch the pencil to the paper and you're like, I don't know what to draw, like I want to draw, but I don't know what to draw, and you like, it's hard getting past that and getting loose and getting into the moment and getting yourself like comfortable and into it. Warm-ups help you physically, warm-ups help you mentally, and then if you think about it in terms of if you're doing something athletic, you do warm-ups to do the same thing with your body. You get your body warmed up into it and into the kind of like, okay, we're about to be physical mindset and physical place. I'm just rambling now, but I'm very like pro, pro warm-ups and I should practice what I preach and do more warm-ups before I draw to kind of like help me get out of the slump. I sort of want to continue and do a few more of these, but this video is getting kind of long and if I know my phone, it's not going to let me edit it together. So I'm going to cut it off here. Thank you so much for like hanging out with me and getting me out of the house today. I hope you all have a beautiful day and stay frosty. <laughs> that was my lame attempt at being cool. All right, I'll talk to you soon.